Welcome everyone to another episode of Dropkick. I am your host as always, Double C, going solo. I'm riding solo today. And we got Smackdown and Raw, Smackdown from the 12th, and Monday Night Raw from the 15th. Right. So, Smackdown was... uh, I don't know. It was like a... It wasn't that great. It was more... It was another filler episode because we're still going toward... Uh, Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, and that's basically what we're doing. Uh, the show starts out with a Bro Kick versus WMD uh, contest. Now, for this, uh, they brought out the uh, Power of the Punch arcade machine, where you would punch it, and, you know, it would show exactly how hard you hit it one of those so what they did for this they put out like a whole bunch of wires attached to it made it completely elaborate just so they can make it more fixed really uh yeah so Seamus goes first, hits something in the thousands, Big Show hits the WMD. Oh wait, is now called the KO Punch. Uh, I think it was Josh Matthews, or I don't know who, decided to po- point that out. It's now the KO Punch, it's not WMD anymore, because, you know, face the image thing. It's always about the image. Anyways... So, Big Show wins. Sheamus is like, oh. Well, that just happened. And then Tensai attacks because Tensai attacks because he's just there. I don't know. So, we have our first match of the night. Sheamus versus Tensai. And we can all guess what happened, really. Sheamus wins because he's World Heavyweight Champion and bro kick to the face. Boom to the head right next uh, we have we go backstage with Alberto Del Rio he sends Ricardo to find uh, Randy Orton basically yeah Randy Orton is rumored to be here so be there so off you go do 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 and he finds someone. He finds Santino with his Cobra thing. Okay, woo! Second match of the night. We have Encore. Oops, I mean the band. According to some uh, websites. Uh, Jinder Mahal and Heath Slater versus Zack Ryder and Santino. Uh, this is basically a... Oh, heels take over. Heels win. The band wins. We'll get to more about the band later on Raw. So, we have another match. We have Dolph Ziggler versus Kane. Uh, This is a DQ finish. Uh, I forget how... Oh, wait, no, I remember. Dolph Ziggler does something, I forget. Remember to forget and all that stuff. Anyways, so... After the match, uh, Matt Stryker attempts to interview uh, Daniel Bryan and Kane and promptly gets a a fistful of no lock and chokeslam for his efforts. Right. So once again, after that we go to Ricardo backstage. He hears Orton's voice, which really isn't because it's a recording from a brawling buddy stuffed toy really and he finds hornswoggle because we all know that little people play with toys and stuffed animals and all that good stuff even though he's what 25 at this point right kids like it whatever Okay, so after that we have Kofi Kingston versus Big Show. I didn't really pay too much attention to this one because Big Show 
punches people in the face and he punches Kofi in the face. We'll be talking about Kofi Kingston later on on during a Monday Night Raw. Let's see. Going backstage again with Ricardo because he's having such a hard time finding one person. Uh, he finds... Oh, wait, no. he's. I take that back. Hold on, hold on. He's with Alberto, and he's talking about how he can't find Orson. Okay. Daniel Bryan shows up. It's like, yeah, I can beat you. Let's go to the ring. Alberto goes, okay. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, backstage. Once again, we have a lot of backstage back stage segments right um with uh let's see teddy long eve and general manager booker t so the big thing is they found a blonde wig yeah a blonde wig okay yeah sure okay i wonder who it belonged to it belonged to teddy because eve puts the wig on teddy and yeah no no, 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 no. It's all very stupid. Now we have... After that, we have Sin Cara versus Damien Sandow. And this is probably the shocker of the uh, show, really. Because... Sin Cara? He pulls up the upset victory over Sandow, who has not, up until this point, has not gotten pinned yet. So, good for him, I guess. It kind of dampers the whole, you know, push that the uh, Road Scholars is going on right now. And at the same time, it builds momentum for Mysterio and Sin Cara. So, we'll see how that happens next week. Because uh, Mysterio had a case of the flu, and ended up missing Monday Night Raw. Anyway, so, main event time. We have Daniel Bryan versus Alberto Del Rio. Uh, this, is, this was a very scientific match, really, and Alberto Del Rio picks up the victory because he's number one contender. Yeah, okay. And then he's going through all the motions of Randy Orton, mocking Orton, and all that stuff. He... Does Orton's, you know, snake thing and he starts pounding on the mat in face of Orton. Orton's there. It was pretty much a replay of two weeks ago where Alberto pretty much attacked Orton. Almost spot for spot. Really. So. But Alberto, he escapes. And... Ricardo's there, and he gets RKO'd on a table. Okay, sure. So, pretty much it's guaranteed at this point that uh, Alberto Del Rio and Randy Orton are going to have a match at the pay-per-view. So, who didn't see that coming? Right. Now. On to Monday Night Raw. Now, Raw was a lot better than SmackDown this week. Much, pretty much is like that every single week at this point, really. So, show, the show starts out well with the big show. He talks about the jokes, he talks about the debate, he talks about how people make fun of him, and we've all seen this, we've all heard this before, and we're all really starting to get sick over it. He, he goes over the uh, arcade incident that on SmackDown that we covered earlier. Right. So, he wants Daniel Bryan because he wants to beat him up. AJ is backstage with Daniel Bryan and everyone else. D. Bryan says no, everyone goes yes, 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 and AJ goes yes, 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 get out there. I go, okay, whatever. So, starting match, Big Show versus Daniel Bryan. Uh, this, this match was, okay, Big Show dominates, um, Daniel Bryan, 
It's a comeback. Almost believable that he could actually pull off this win. And then Chokeslam. Okay. Kane comes out after the match. And he defends Daniel Bryan and then laughs at him. Okay. Now. After a commercial break. We have. uh, Let's see. Paul Heyman and CM Punk. In the ring. Well, Paul Heyman introduces CM Punk, and they seem to have some sort of portrait. This is probably the big decision that they got to be doing. So, anyways. So, Punk recaps about everything, and he's going to reveal, and then he does the heel thing and backs out. Then Vince comes out. Uh, Vince said that he blew it, that CM Punk blew it. And he's going to make the decision, not now, but at a special contract signing later on in the night. Okay. Okay, sure. Hype it up a little bit more. So, after that, uh, let's see. Match number two, Alberto Del Rio versus Brodus Clay. This is a very interesting matchup, mainly because that Brodus Clay used to be Alberto's assistant way back when was it last year or something like that but Alberto thinks nothing nothing of it because hey that was more than three months ago uh, he makes Brodus Clay tap out once again he's jobbing should he be jobbing I don't know his gimmick is gone Let's see, it, probably extremely stale at this point really uh, he's just he, I don't know. I just don't want to see Brodus Clay anymore. It's weird. Maybe it's the uh, can't introduction or something like that. Maybe it's the Funkadactyls. Even though that they are they're pretty good looking. But I don't know. He's just not doing anything. So, we go backstage with CM Punk. Uh, let's see. Paul Heyman pretty much goes, I warned you. I warned you. This is going to happen. You can't fight Vince because it's going to be a war. And you don't win a war against Vince McMahon. Punk pretty much wants to fight Vince one more time because he wants to. Okay. Uh, Heyman is you're like, oh, you really don't want to do this. <laughs> You're out of your mind. Puck goes, yeah, I want to do this. I want to fight him. He can't make his decision if he's knocked out. That's, his, that's pretty much his uh, reasoning for this entire thing. So, next we have uh, Zack Ryder versus... No, Zack Ryder and Santino versus the Primetime Players, and Okay, most of this match, once again, happens off camera. Now, yes, it's like, no, you don't get wrestling in your wrestling program. However, I'll let this one slide. Reason being is that at the very end, they did the the uh, what, the trope of... Uh, multiple finishers, one right after another. And one reaction that I got was from uh, Titus O'Neil's Sky High maneuver. It's got to be one of the most hard-hitting ones that I've ever seen him do. I just go, Jesus, that looked like it hurt. Holy crap. It's like, oh, that's the stuff that I want to see. I want to see impact. I want to see action. Too bad half the action happened during commercial break. So, moving on. To right afterwards, where we have the band. I mean, Encore. I mean, no, they were called something else this time. They formally introduced themselves as the 3MB. The three-man band. And they're doing this 
hard rock sort of look. Really, and I, I guess okay, Drew McIntyre. It works for Drew McIntyre. He Slater. That's his gimmick already. Jinder Mahal is probably the hardest one out of the entire three that doesn't really fit into the gimmick. I mean, sure, he has a he has a jacket on, him, but it just doesn't work with him. I guess. But yeah, they're called three MB, three megabytes. I don't know. Three man band, three MB. Uh, we'll see them again later on. Afterwards, we have Dolph Ziggler. He has something to say. He doesn't like Ryback, and he doesn't like the fact that Ryback may be getting a WWE title shot in the very near future. He says that he should be the one to get the world title match. I'm not world title match, but the WWE title match. And then he'll cash in at money, his Money in the Bank briefcase on the winner of the World Heavyweight title match and get both championships. This seems like a good idea to me. I mean, really. Uh, and then David Otunga. He goes, I want the title match. Not you, I want it. Because everyone knows that David Otunga is, you know, one of the top superstars on Raw or SmackDown. Maybe on Superstars. Oh, uh, oops, I'm sorry. On Wednesday night main event on Ion Network. And then AJ comes out. She goes, okay, let's have a match versus this guy. It's right back. We all know how this is going to happen. Uh, we all know that this was going to happen. And yeah, so... David Otunga and Dolph Ziggler versus Ryback. Uh, Dolph Ziggler ditches the match, and Ryback wins because he's Ryback. Ryback, Ryback, Ryback. Feed me more. Vinny Mac. Feed me more Mac. A uh, Vinny. Vinny Mac, 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 Okay, right. So, we go backstage with Vince, Vince McMahon and Paul Heyman. Heyman goes... Punk wants to fight you. You don't have to do this. Da 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 da. And then Vince says, "All right, you're on, but you, Paul Heyman, have to fight me." Crowd goes wild. He goes, "No." He goes, "No." And then match is not going to happen after all. All right, all right, all right. So. Once again, backstage, 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 da 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 da, da. with AJ and Max Stryker. Stryker pleads his case. He wants an apology because he got attacked. He's not a wrestler anymore. And he call, accidentally calls AJ crazy, even though he didn't really call her crazy, just that the situation is crazy. AJ takes offense and makes a magic with uh, Kane. So later on, Matt Stryker and Kane. Fifth match of the night. Antonio Cesaro versus Justin Gabriel. Now, now in this match, there are some times when a heel foreigner uh, wrestles. You get some uh, chants from the crowd. You know which, You know what kind of chants I'm talking about. Is the USA chant. Now. I'm alright for that you know. However. Justin Gabriel. Is from South Africa. Nobody in the match. Is from the US. Yep. Yeah thanks crowd. You rock. Anyway. So, uh, Justin Gabriel hits the 450 splash since uh, Cesaro rolls out of the way. Oh, well, yeah, he rolls afterwards, foot on the rope, and then it hits uh, Justin Gabriel with a flying uppercut, which I love each and every single time he does it because it's just pure impact. Holy crap, yeah. So, now on to another match that doesn't really even 
I shouldn't even bother mentioning, but it's the Matt Stryker and Kane match. Matt Stryker wants an apology. Kane's not going to give it. They hug it out for a little bit and then chokeslam because he's Kane and that's what he does. So afterwards, Kane does a bear. After the bear hug, chokeslam, Kane interviews Stryker. Everyone has a laugh. Kane laughs. He leaves. Now, up next, we have the most important, not not the most important, but pretty much, uh, okay, but this next segment is actually very important. However, it's the Miz TV segment. I know. It's like, oh, okay, okay. So it's Miz TV with Kofi Kingston. Obviously, obviously, this is going to be about the Intercontinental title and how Kingston sucks. Now, Miz says that he's main event at WrestleMania. He's won at WrestleMania. He's made so many moments. Kofi has done nothing, pretty much. I say pretty much. Uh, there's no breakout moment, and then Kofi takes offense and he attacks. Now, I'll get to Kofi Kingston later on. Well, when the uh, match actually happens, because this is actually this might be his moment. Anyways, so uh, shame. There's gonna be a match later. On. Okay, so next match: Sheamus versus Wade Barrett, the rematch. Not as good as last week's. Not by a long shot. But, okay, so Big Show comes out halfway through the match and sits on a chair. Yep, he sits on a chair. Watches the match. He interferes later on. DQ. Yeah. Yeah. But Sheamus comes out on top because, yeah, okay. We go backstage again with Vince and Cena. Cena says that he belongs in the ring. That Vince should choose him. Okay. Match number eight. Eve versus Layla for the Divas Championship. Oh, boy. Now... Uh, this is hard to say, but this was actually a pretty good match. I mean, really. Uh, the, I mean, Eve put a uh, like a triangle choke, like maneuver, on for a good portion of the match, which I really liked because it, it Eve rolled with it, and it looked like it. You know, really contorted and all that's good stuff. And I and I really like that kind of um, submission style wrestling that Eve is actually portraying. And that I think that's a really good thing. However, at the very end, we have, uh, let's see, Layla. She got a foot on the rope. One, two, three, anyway. And Eve comes through out on top. Layla cries after losing doesn't complain she just cries okay up next we have we go backstage once again with team hell no uh, Daniel Bryan is upset that Kane laughed at him and wants Kane to face the big show next week okay we go backstage again, backstage, 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 backstage with Vince and Ryback. Ryback says nothing. Vince says, you're the, you might be the guy. What do you have to say? And then Ryback goes, feed me more, feed me punk, feed me punk. Yeah. Man of a few words. A long shot of... Skip Sheffield, where he goes, yep, 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 you done it, or you know it, or 
what it do. Oh, it was what it do. It was yip, 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 what it do. That was his catchphrase in FCW. Yeah. So, next up. This is the ninth match of the night. Wow, nine matches. We have the Road Scholars versus Primo and Epico. So, this was going to be the uh, finals in the tag team tournament. However, Rey Mysterio is sick with the flu. So, they threw another tag team match on Primo and Epico. This was a very sloppy match, to say the least. Mainly because uh, there was a false start. I mean, they started fighting and the bell never rang. Okay. So, it was a pretty... It was a very uh, sloppy match. The only thing that really was interesting about it... I forget if it was Primo or Epico, but one of them did a triple back suplex. I have never seen that before. And uh, it's one of those things. It's like, hey, that's pretty cool. find that interesting. Uh, Road Scholars end up winning because... Yeah, because they do. Uh, one more interesting note here. It was, was outside the arena. The band, I mean 3MB is thrown out of a club because they were gonna sing and they get thrown out. The bouncer I put bouncer in quotation marks was holding up a set of handcuffs. I don't know what he was doing with the handcuffs but the band gets thrown out. I mean 3 MP whatever. 3 megs. Right. So, it's main event time. The Miz versus Kofi Kingston. Now, th this one isn't for the title. That one is going to be held on Wednesday at the uh, main event show on Ion Network. So, now, th th this, was, this was okay. This was an okay match. I'm not sure if main event was... You know, the right thing, but hey. And one thing I have to say about the match itself that kick, the Trouble in Paradise maneuver that Kofi Kingston does, it was spot on and made me look away when it connected. It's one of those reactions like, oh, that's gotta hurt. It was so. BAM! I guess you could say. Uh, so, and in fact, it made The Miz... He was buzzing wide open. The doctors were uh, checking up on him, and there was blood. Kofi Kingston drew blood. Which was actually kind of cool. So, and the reason why I said earlier that the that this could be Kofi Kingston's time was because it was going to be his time when he faced Randy Orton a few years ago but they pulled out of it the creative pulled out of it and you can pretty much uh tie it into the uh, one match where Kofi screwed up the uh finish it is basically, it, it was the match where Orton got really, really pissed off and RKO'd uh, Kofi with authority. And this was the whole stupid, stupid thing. You can look it up on YouTube. Yeah, you, you can look that stuff up. And interestingly enough, it was that moment that led to Orton's, he hears voices in his head gimmick where he starts pounding on the mat so the last time that Kofi was given a push like this led to another character development for someone else quite accidental 
So hopefully this time Kofi can actually go for the main event and not just be happy to be on TV. Or just be happy that he has another tag team that he wins the titles with because he's been tag team champion. What? Three, four times with four different tag teams or something like that? It's like, uh, we don't know what to do with you, so here, have a tag team. Whatever. So, now before we get to the big decision from Vinnie Mac, uh, another interesting thing to note, WWE is going to distribute a Rolling Stones concert on pay-per-view. Which is, okay. I see that they're starting to branch out. Uh, with the whole pay-per-view thing because they do pay-per-views every single month. And they've been pretty good at it. You know, because they've been doing pay-per-views for, what, 20-plus years every single month. Yeah. Anyways, okay, now it's time for the decision. Uh, Vince calls out Punk. Punk comes out. Looks like he wants to fight. He's not going to fight this time. Yeah, he's not going to fight. Hmm. And so he comes out. He does his thing. He says that the devil I know, devil I don't know, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. It's not in my control anymore. It should be in my control, but it's not. And he signs a contract. Okay, so Cena and Ryback are in the ring now, and John Cena goes. Now, I could fight Punk, however, looks like he wants to get his ass kicked. So I'm going to choose Ryback for this. And Ryback says, feed me more, feed me more. The crowd goes, feed me more, feed me more, feed me more, ba 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 feed me more. Anyways. So, Ryback signs the contract, so it's official. It's going to be Ryback versus CM Punk inside the Hell in a Cell for the WWE Championship. Um, Punk is a little bit worried at this, tries to take a shot, and... Oh, no, he didn't take a shot. Ryback... I forget what happened anyways. Uh, Ryback... It's Punk with his shell-shocked finisher. Punk is out. Everyone's going crazy. Looks like CM Punk is in big trouble for his title. So, anyways, that's Raw. It's like, it's about damn time that we have a number one contender for the WWE Championship. The pay-per-view is in two weeks. Less than two weeks. I mean, come on. I mean, sure. I know that you're supposed to wait until later on to see if Cena can actually go. Looks like he's not. Or he is. Something. I don't know. And I don't really care at this point. Because at least this time, we actually have someone to go right now. Oh. And this thing with the World Heavyweight Championship... That's not being contested under the Hell in a Cell. At least not yet. It might be this week on SmackDown, but not yet. And Dolph Ziggler says that he's going to cash in his Money in the Bay contract at Hell in a Cell. Even though the match itself is not under Hell in a Cell rules. And Sheamus could just bro kick his way to victory twice. This doesn't seem to be that good of an option, really. So, yeah. In other news, in other news. The, uh, my local territory, Portland Wrestling, is coming back. They're doing TV tapings this, uh, this weekend. And I'm very excited, however, I can't go because it's sold out. And it looks like they they are going to be doing uh, TV tapings because it's being held at the uh, TV station, local TV station. 
and it's very it's very nice to see the uh, Portland wrestling coming back home on the same channel that they once did back in the 70s and 80s and this is the same uh, fed that hosted uh, Roddy Roddy Piper Macho Man Randy Savage D- Jimmy Superfly Snuka and others uh, Playboy Buddy Rose R- Rogers I'm sorry Buddy Rogers Ah, oh. yeah and it came back again in 2003 almost had someone come from there to WWE by the name of Scotty Mack he almost he, he was almost a WWE superstar but anyways I'm glad that it's back I'm going to try to get get into the tapings uh, next month to see how my work schedule is but hopefully I can get there and maybe do a supplemental drop kick on the uh, uh, about the show and we'll see how that is but that's next month we got to worry about next week because we have a possibility of King Big Show more antics from Alberto Del Rio on Smackdown uh, results from the uh, main event with Kofi Kingston and The Miz and then finally to Raw some fallout with the uh, right back CM Punk thing maybe Punk will uh, get the upper hand or something I don't know it's all coming toward Hell in a Cell and that was Dropkick and we'll catch you next time you can uh, check us out on Twitter I'm at Sunset Flip uh, Darren is at dash 182, I think. I don't know. It's on the title card. Anyways, yeah. Uh, we will catch you next time.